There is a wealth of information and resources available to you and your students on the Internet. You may wish to share a particular website with your students, such as an online academic journal or a web app your students will use to complete an assignment. Websites can be added using web links within your Blackboard course in any of the following places. In a content area, on the course menu, or simply in a text field. Let's start by adding a web link in the course menu. While you'll likely group related resources in content areas, there may be one or two key resources you'd like your students to have quick and easy access to the whole semester. One resource you may find important enough to place in the course menu would be the For Students section of the Teaching with Blackboard Help website. Let's add a link to a resource so our students know where to find information on using Blackboard. With the Edit Mode set to On, place your mouse cursor over the plus sign icon at the top of the course menu. From the drop-down menu, click Web Link, making a pop-up box appear. Type the name of the web link in the Name field. Let's name ours Blackboard Help. Next, in the URL field, type in or copy and paste the web address for the website you would want to link to. If you type in the address, make sure you include the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash portion as well. However, you may want to copy and paste URLs rather than typing them to reduce the chance for errors. To do so, open a new browser tab or window. and navigate to the web page you would like to link to. Place your mouse cursor in the URL bar at the top of your browser. And then select the whole web address with your mouse if it wasn't automatically highlighted for you. Finally, hold down the control key on your keyboard or the command key on a Mac while you tap the C key. Hitting the Control c or Command-C key combination will copy the selected URL. Returning to Blackboard, place your mouse cursor in the URL field. Similarly to how we copied the URL, hold down the Control or Command key, but this time tap the V key. That will paste in the recently copied URL. Next, decide whether to make the link available to users by clicking its checkbox. Then click the Submit button. Your new link will appear at the bottom of the course menu. And you can reorder the menu using either the drag and drop arrows for the link or the course menu's keyboard accessible reordering window. Next, let's add a web link to a content area. As mentioned, content areas are where you place your course content. In this example, let's add a link to the university libraries, which our students may need for the projects. From the course menu, click the content area labeled information. On the action bar, place your mouse cursor over the build content tab. Then select Web Link from its drop down menu. At the top of the Create Web Link page, you'll be asked to provide a name and URL for the link. Once again, type a name your students will find meaningful, such as NIU Library. Then add the URL. Below the name and URL is a description field allowing you to describe the web resource or add instructions for your students if necessary. After description is the attachments area where you can add files for your students to download and use with the website. Next is web link options which by default is set to open in new window. Changing this option from yes to no forces the web resource to open within Blackboard. Finally, at the bottom of the page are the standard options. As with all other content, 
you can decide whether to make this link available with permit users to view this content, to track its number of views, and even select dates and time restrictions if you want to control when the link becomes available and for how long. When you're finished, click the submit button. The web link should now appear as the last piece of content on the information page and if necessary you can reorder your new content using either its drag and drop arrows or the content areas reordering menu. Lastly, test your new web link by clicking on it to make sure it correctly opens the intended website. This tutorial demonstrated different ways to add a web link to your Blackboard course.